AP Calculus AB, find an equation for the tangent line to the graph of F. And this is what I want to talk about here is that here we're going to use implicit differentiation. We're going to differentiate out of ln of x, and we're going to find the tangent line. So this looks like a really good test question for you guys to see in college calculus, but certainly on the AP exam. So let's start by finding the derivative here. And we're going to find an equation of the tangent line at this. This is the point, and this is the point 1, 0. It got worse looking at 1, 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by taking, yeah, I'm just going to take ddx of the whole thing. So that's my big plan here. I'm going to take ddx of everything. So ddx of the whole thing. And some of this we know, but I'm just going to make sure we get this. I'm going to take ddx of x. Then I'm going to take, then I'm going to take ddx of y. And then I'm going to subtract ddx of 1. And then finally going to take ddx of ln of x squared plus y squared. And we're going to go from there. So a lot of this differentiation we can do easily. So let's get to the parts that we can do. We know that the first derivative of x is just 1. We also know that the first derivative of y is, well, the first derivative of y. And the first derivative of 1 is 0. Then we're going to go over this side, and then we're going to take the derivative of this. And remember that an ln, the derivative is f prime at x over f of x. So that's all I'm going to do here. I'm going to take 1 over x squared plus y squared times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x plus 2, sorry, plus 2y, y prime. I'm going to put those things together. I'm going to get 1 plus y prime is equal to 2x plus 2y, y prime over, whoops, over x squared plus y squared, right, gives us this. I'm going to do a little bit more work. I think I'm going to cross multiply here, and that should get us to here. Where does that get us to? It gets us to here. It gets us to 1 plus y prime times x squared plus y squared is equal to 2x plus y, y prime. Hopefully you're keeping up with all this little bit of algebra. I'm going to go ahead and do some of the, you know, let me do this. I'm going to, I'm going to partially expand this. I'm just going to expand this part of it, if you don't mind. So I'm going to get 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times y squared is y squared. And then I, what I was supposed to do, right, is do y prime times x squared plus y squared. In a second, I, hopefully you'll see why I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bother with that. And here... I'm thinking about the fact that the point I'm going to use, supposed to use is 1, 0. So I'm going to go ahead and do my substitution for that value. I'm going to get 1 squared plus 0 squared, right? x and y plus y prime times 1 squared plus 0 squared is equal to 2 times 1 plus 2 times 0 times y prime. And if you're wondering what all this crap is, I'm just substituting in. Every place I found an x, I put a 1. And every place I found a y, I put a 0. y is not y prime, though, right? So this is what happens here. We end up 1 squared plus 0 squared is 1. 1 times y prime is y prime. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. So we got plus 1 here is equal to 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 times y prime is 0. So, oh my gosh, we have y prime. 1 plus y prime is equal to 2, and therefore y prime, the derivative, the slope, is equal to 1. From here, we really are done, gmn, because 1, I'm sorry, y minus 0 is equal to 1, the slope, times x minus 1, and we get out the line tangent to the curve, taken implicitly, is x minus 1. Wow, that was a lot of work. I hope it was helpful. Doesn't want to stop. Wants to go on.